Today we're going to learn how to make fractions with different denominators equal to each other. Let's look at some examples. All of these examples will involve denominators of 10, 100, and 1000. That's going to make things a little bit easier, but it will still be a good way to understand these concepts. The other thing to keep in mind for all of these questions is our goal is going to be the same. Find the missing number. We'll have three numbers in the problem and one will be missing, and we need to find that missing number. Let's get into it. In order to go from a denominator of 10 to a denominator of 100, we have to multiply by 10. But if the denominator got multiplied by 10, in order to keep the fraction equal, you have to do the same thing to the numerator. So they're both multiplied by 10, which means that the numerator on the right-hand side must be 10 times the numerator on the left-hand side. 10 times 8, which is going to be 80. So we can put 80 in our box and check our answer. Looks good. Here we go again. We're going from 10 to 100. That means we have to multiply by 10, which means the numerator gets multiplied by 10 as well. And 9 times 10 will give us our answer, which is 90. One more. We're going from 10 to 100. How do we do that? We multiply by 10. So we also multiply the numerator by 10. 4 times 10 is 40. Now we're going back the other direction. Rather than going from 10 to 100, we're going from 100 down to 10. Well, if before we were multiplying by 10, to go the other way, we have to divide by 10. But we have to do the same thing to the numerator and the denominator. So we divide both by 10. 100 divided by 10 gives us the 10. 90 divided by 10 gives us a numerator of 9. Going from left to right again. To go from 10 to 100, multiply by 10. So do the same thing to the numerator and the denominator, giving us 30. One more example. To go from 10 to 100, multiply by 10. Then do the same thing in the numerator. 10 times 8 is going to be 80. So we keep seeing the same pattern. Figure out what you need to do to the denominator to make the two fractions equal, then do the same thing to the numerator. As long as you keep that in mind, you can't get into too much trouble. Here's another example. In order to go from 10 to 100, we have to multiply by 10 again. So you do the same thing in the numerator. 10 times 10 gives us 100. 10 times 9 gives us 90. Now we're going back the other way. In order to go from 100 to 10, you divide by 10. We have to do the same thing to the numerator, so we also divide 70 by 10, which will give us 7. Back to the right. To go from 10 to 100, multiply by 10. But do the same thing for the numerator and the denominator. 10 times 10 becomes 100. 10 times 6 becomes 60. One last example. To go from 100 to 10, simply divide by 10. But you have to do the same thing to the numerator. So 60 divided by 10 will be 6. And that's it. 